I'm going to tell you the story of how a fishing lure company stole some of my videos and threatened to sue me for not allowing them to steal my videos. Don't forget to subscribe and ring the bell. Lately I've been watching some uh, videos on YouTube about uh, just the weird legal cases and stuff that happen on YouTube. Uh, most of them are all about like copyright music and audio sounds. But there's been a few where people got like cease and desist orders and uh, just threats, legal threats for nothing really. They didn't do anything wrong. And it reminded me of a situation that happened with me. And it actually happened a couple of times. There was multiple companies that stole my videos to make commercials for these. Now I was scrolling around on Facebook one day and uh, this advertisement popped up for uh, these jointed swim baits that everybody sees all over the place. They come from China. All the different companies have them, but they're all exactly the same. They just rebrand them. Uh, this one's got a, a skin on it. I was trying to make it look like, like a perch or something. It didn't quite work, but... Um, yeah, there's there's several companies that sell them. They try to claim them as their own, like they they made them, but they didn't. And this video popped up advertising these lures, and I was like, wait, that looks familiar. And then I heard my my own voice. I was like, yeah, they just they're using my video for a commercial. At first, I thought it was kind of cool, but then I realized that the lure that they're advertising is not even the lure I was using in the video. So. False advertisement, they're lying. They never got permission to, to use my videos. And three, the uh, copyright on them was for non-commercial use only. And this was literally a commercial. Well, the first company, I sent them a message and they were cool about it. They actually sent me money and a bunch of free baits and stuff for them using my videos. So I was like, you know what, go ahead and use it. Uh, I actually made a couple more advertisements for them using their baits, and that one worked out to a degree. Uh, this company, though, their name was Fishing Is My Life. Now, the first one I'm bluffing. I'm just trying to get their attention. It says, I just saw an advertisement for your lures illegally using my content that I own the copyrights to. I need to be compensated in order for you to use them. And nothing. Didn't hear anything from them at all. So the next day I sent them another message. I gave you a day to respond. I will be taking action now. A little while after that, they sent me this message. It says, Thank you for contacting the Bass Matcher. We appreciate your time in sending us an email. As per our legal counsel, there are no copyright on any work. All the work you, the ad advertisements utilize copyright free images and videos that are under the Creative Commons license. Have a great day. Regards, Jesse. Bullshit. They just said no copyright on any work, and then immediately after that says all of the advertisements utilize copyright-free images and videos under the Creative Commons license. Creative Commons is the copyright. So you can't say it's all copyright-free and then say it's all Creative Commons. So, strike one. I followed that up by saying, no, you're flat out lying. I own the copyrights to them. They are from my YouTube channel using Creative Commons licensing, which means they are not to be used for advertising, and you have to credit my channel. I have already taken steps to have you removed. Tell your legal counsel to double check their laws. I have them copyrighted Creative Commons attribution, which means non-commercial use only, what you were using them for is literally a commercial. And then I sent them a link to the Creative Commons information. They followed that up with, uh, thank you for contacting the Bass Smasher. We appreciate your time in sending us a response. All Creative Commons works utilized are within the Creative Commons by license, and all creators of, wor creators of works are credited for those works. Regards, Jesse. Bullshit strike number two says, all creators of works are credited for those works. I went through everything they had on any of their websites, any of their information, everything on Facebook. 
Not a single person was credited for any work. I was not the only YouTuber that they ripped off on this. Like, they stole a bunch of YouTube videos. Even people that were bigger than me, but I don't know if anybody else ever complained about it or what. But nobody was credited. Then they followed that one up with, An update has been received from our legal counsel. Our Facebook rep has contacted us mentioning a false claim has been submitted on a video regarding a claim of copyright. As provided in the update above, the Creative Commons by license, which is provided by YouTube, is for remixing, transforming, transforming and building upon the material for any purpose, even commercially. Commercially. Not true. Uh, everything they said up to commercially was correct. Uh, the Creative Commons license, it's not provided by YouTube. I mean, it's sort of provided by YouTube because it's on YouTube. Like, you can check the box for Creative Commons. But Creative Commons is nothing to actually do with YouTube. They're a copyright thing. You can get Creative Commons copyrights directly from Creative Commons. It's not a YouTube thing. Uh, as for all work, you have been credited for all work. In good faith, our legal counsel has asked to remove the false claim which is compliant and resolved, or the only other call to, or to action would be a court order. So they just threatened to sue me because I put a copyright claim on my video that I own. It's not a false claim because I own the copyrights to it. It's, a false claim would be if somebody didn't own the copyrights and was trying to claim it. Uh, regards, Jesse, of course. As for all work, you have been credited for all work. Yeah. That's uh, sort of true, because after I started doing all this, they went into the comment section of the video, instead of in the actual video or the description, and just put copyright Edmund Winston. Which, that does nothing. Absolutely nothing. Nobody's reading the comments. Uh, second of all, I had told them they need to, needed to credit my YouTube channel. That was not my YouTube channel. And it needed to be in the actual video and in the description of the video with a link to my YouTube channel. And that's not what they did. All they did was copyright and my name. And they also lied about uh, crediting all the other uh, YouTubers that they stole from, which they did not. They only credited me. So I followed that up with, uh, I sent them the link to the Creative Commons licenses legal code. Section four, part B, aside from also needing to credit the other creators featured in the offending video, you also need to credit the sponsors of my videos, which happen to be competitors of yours. The pseudonym Cheap Angler Fishing needs to be credited. And most importantly, my express written permission needs to be granted, to which I refuse. They replied back, uh, thank you for contacting Bass Smasher. They literally sent me the link I just sent them and said, Creative Commons licenses require licensees to get permission to do any of the things with the work that the law reserves exclusively to a licensor and that the licensee does not expressly allow. Licensees must credit the licensor, keep copyright notices intact on all copies of work, and link to the license from copies of the work, licensees cannot use technological measures to restrict access to the work by others. The very first line says they need to get my permission. And then everything else after that is actually going against everything they did. Licensees must credit the licensor, keep copyright notices, uh, link to the license from copies of the work. They didn't do any of that. That's all the things I was actually asking them to do. And they just sent me this as if I wasn't actually going to read what they sent. They just copied something out of the, the license agreement and sent it to me. And they didn't actually read it. They just thought I would ignore it and think, oh, they, they sound smart. I better back off. Like, they literally just proved my argument for me. And then they followed that up with, all the video clips are credited to each source. Please be advised if this false claim is not taken down, our legal team will be issuing a court order as a false claim is perjury. Regards, Jesse. No, nobody was credited except for me. And it says credited to each source. They didn't link to any source whatsoever. So none of that was true. And then they threatened to sue me the second time. Uh, I followed that up with, read carefully. The first line you just sent shuts down your own case. 
you just stated yourself that you need my permission. If the claim is removed, you must remove my video as I do not endorse your product or service and will not provide written con consent as noted by Section 4B, which states, you may not implicitly or explicitly assert or imply any connection with sponsorship or endorsement by the original author. And I went on a little bit further. Basically saying that them using uh, the, my video makes it seem like I'm endorsing their product. And I am very clearly not. But the very first line they sent shut down their whole case. Then the, the end of that one says, Crediting me in your product commercial is implying that I endorse your product, which I explicitly do not. Please reread the terms you have linked. And if you do not agree to Section 4B, then the whole license is invalid for you, and I retain all rights as you do not agree to the terms as set forth by the Creative Commons Legal Code. And then I sent another follow-up, copying out more stuff from the Legal Code, and basically specifying that they need my permission. And I followed that up with, once again, you do not have my permission. And that was it. YouTube took their videos down, and I never heard anything about them again. Fishing is my life threatened to sue me, not once, but twice, for not allowing them to steal my videos. I'm very good at just sounding like I know what I'm talking about, so that's what I did. And they tried to do the same thing, but they weren't paying attention to anything. There were a couple of other companies claiming to use my, or that were using my videos, and they all got shut down with no... Like, I tried to contact them, most of them just ignored me, and then I had Facebook take their videos down, and there was nothing else to it. No follow-ups, nothing. But this one was just funny. I would have loved to have gone to court and heard them and their legal counsel argue that they should be allowed to steal whatever they want off the internet. That I, w I would really love to hear what a judge had to say about that. So, thanks for watching. See you next time.